Is your mouthwash helping or hurting your teeth? If you've ever spent time in the oral health section of a store, your eyes have been bombarded with labels claiming to be the best product on the shelf, many with an ADA seal of approval on respected brands. Most lay people and even some professionals can find the products confusing. In this video, I'm going to help you better understand what mouthwashes are for, what their active ingredients do, and the unintended consequences of using one with an acidic pH level. The most common reason for using a mouthwash is to improve bad breath. Sources of bad breath include poor hygiene, tonsil stones, postnasal drip, gum disease, active decay, or untreated abscesses, all of which have a common denominator in bacteria. If this is the reason you're using an oral rinse, you should first seek professional care, and then consider using an antimicrobial mouthwash. A fluoride or essential oils rinse will only mask the real problem. The second most common reason for using a mouthwash is to prevent cavities. In this case, you need a fluoride rinse. While fluoride is effective for reducing decay, it is only one factor in the equation of cavity formation. The other major contributor is a pH level below 5.5, the point at which enamel begins to demineralize. In this weakened state, teeth are more vulnerable to decay, erosion, and sensitivity, which makes the choice of an acidic mouthwash a really bad one. The irony here is that most mouthwashes are acidic, with pH levels ranging down between 3 and 6. While the hard outer layer of your tooth, your enamel, demineralizes at 5.5, the softer areas around exposed roots or dentin will erode at just 6.5. If you have receding gums and are experiencing sensitivity, an acidic mouthwash can actually compound the problem, making your sensitivity much worse. Choosing an effective rinse really comes down to its active ingredients and a high pH level. Unfortunately, pH levels are not disclosed by manufacturers, requiring independent research and testing. Yours truly has done just that. Drum roll, please. Acidic rinses you should avoid. Colgate Total, Crest Pro Health, Listerine, The Natural Dentist, Listerine Total, Iotech IOrinse, Toms of Maine Wicked Fresh, Act, Paradex, and Peroxyl. Alkaline rinses that are safe include Closis, Therabreath, Biotein, Carry Free CTX3, and CTX4. If you want to see more details, you can check out the research on my website's blog. What are my go-to recommendations? The two products I most commonly recommend are Closest Sensitive and Carry Free CTX3. Both are pH positive and readily available on Amazon. Closest is my preferred antimicrobial rinse, and Carry Free is my recommendation for patients at high risk for cavities. If you found this information valuable, I would really appreciate you clicking on those like and subscribe buttons so that I can reach more people in Google's algorithm and achieve the mission of improving oral health and hopefully help more people smile.